So in this video, I want to share this script and some of the issues that I uh, still have with it. And so I'll post the link of the video um, where I have all of the steps. But for this one, I wanted to share one interesting aspect. And that is when I lofted together these three curves, it created some random curves in between. So let me hide all of this stuff. So let's hide all of this. And then this loft, which was created from these curves. So this middle curve and two of these curves that were, let's see here, this one. And there was another curve, this one up here, and then the mirrored one. So what happened was when I created this arc, which was more, uh, shallower than the one out here, it created, when I did the loft, it created some creases here, which gave me some issues because when I went to subdivide it using isotrim, notice that I only have three in the V and eight in the U, and it's actually subdividing each one of those surfaces because I had to deconstruct it to get each face. And so I wanted to share that issue and I don't really understand why that would happen. Um, I'm guessing just because when we move this vertical point up, this arc, since it's different than this one, it's for some reason causing those creases. So what I was thinking of using to fix that is take this curve and divide it. So I'll double click here and go to divide curve. And I'll create a um, interpolated curve through all of those points. And I'll do the same thing to the other two curves. So this is going to be the middle one. Plug in the arc here. And we'll do the same thing to this one. Now we can increase the number of subdivisions to get a finer, finer detail, I guess, but I don't think it's necessary since it's an arc and it's kind of following a consistent path. So, but if we wanted to, we could put that slider into our division here, division on this one, and then division on this one. It's a little bit messy right now, but we could always fix that. And let's move this down. So with this one, we can obviously increase that. And now we have this curve and we have all of these curves that are our new um, curves that we're gonna use for lofting. So I'll go here to curve and I'll organize them in order. So I'll go this one, then I'll go to the middle one, then I'll take this one. So I'll take all of this middle click and disable preview. And for this one, those three curves, I'm going to replace them using all of these. So the other way we can do it is take those three curves and let's plug those three into one. So let's put them in order. We'll do this one, holding down shift, add uh, to add more. And then we'll use this one to loft. And now notice that by lofting those curves, we had got rid of those subdivisions. 
that were kind of messing with us. And I think the cool thing is we can also, let's see if we can change the shape also just by changing the subdivisions, right? But for us, we'll keep it at 10. Let's disable the preview on this and go back to our final. So I'll select this, preview it. Now notice that it's way smoother and we don't have any issues. Now we can subdivide this further. So let's go to eight and eight. So just wanted to share with you some of the ways that I kind of troubleshoot some of the scripts that I have. And what I'll do is um, share with you the script. I'll have it uh, not now, but I'll set up a, I'm going to set up a website where I'll have all of the scripts there. But before that, I wanted to share with you the concept of this design. The idea is to create a sustainable home type of single uh, single structure with a wall on the back where this could be like tucked into the back of a landscape and then this could be just a floor slab that could be with radiant heating or um, you know it could even be a greenhouse so um, what's cool is that we can uh, play with the parameters depending on what we're trying to design so if you if you need more space for rooms and things like that we can play around with that so um, I definitely want to add on to this but for now, I wanted to share the design. So let me know what you think. Um, I'll have, like I said, the script later on for you to download. I want to add more details, um, but let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any questions, also let me know. And I appreciate you coming by and watching, and I hope to see you next time.